I'm Michael Skipper with the National Weather Service here in northern Indiana. It's 5 a.m. on Wednesday, April 5th. I want to take the next few minutes to bring you up to date on the latest forecast information concerning the severe weather potential for today. As mentioned yesterday, we are looking at the potential for significant tornadoes across the area in addition to the large hail and damaging wind threat. So the changes from yesterday, we're looking at just a little bit of an earlier time from basically 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, today. So in detail, again, conditions are favorable for tornadoes to develop, and among those could be one or more long-track EF2 or stronger tornadoes. An EF2 tornado has minimum speeds of about 111 miles an hour. In addition to the tornado threat, there's also a significant hail threat, hail of two inches or more in diameter, and damaging wind gusts between 60 and 70 miles an hour. One thing to note in this uh, scenario is we're looking at fast storm movement of around 60 miles an hour, which may not give you much time to find a place of shelter. Here's some slides for the latest scenario that we have. Again, forecast confidence is high. The Storm Prediction Center has placed our entire area in an enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms with tornadoes. And as I mentioned earlier, we're looking at the main window between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Also, uh, some thunderstorms are possible as early as 9 a.m. So again, the major threats today are tornado hail and damaging winds. The flood risk is low because the storms are moving or should be moving quite rapidly. Now I've placed some additional slides in here so you can see where the strongest tornadoes are expected. So you can see with this graphic, it's almost the entire area. In addition to the tornado threat, there's a large hail and damaging wind threat which you can see in these graphics covers nearly the entire area. Now at the onset today, we do have a wind advisory. You can see that in the brown shaded area, along with some flood watches farther north that's outside of our area. These winds, these are not the thunderstorms winds, but we are looking at sustained wind speeds between 20 and 30 miles an hour with gusts between 45 and 50 miles an hour. So these type of winds can can blow around some tree limbs and, un and unsecured objects. And to kind of finish up the brief, and I just wanted to make sure you understand the safe, safe or, or safest place to be. You want to be uh, inside if possible in an interior room, a well-constructed home or building. A basement is best where you're below ground level, but if that's not impossible, move to a secure room and perhaps under a sturdy table so if debris somehow manages to get your room, the, hopefully the table will prevent the uh, uh, de uh, debris from falling on you. And once again, have multiple ways to get warnings. Uh, one best way or about a nice way is to use the weather radio or our website, weather.gov slash IWX. And these weather, the weather information is updated very regularly. Again, this has been Michael Skipper. It is five o'clock on Wednesday morning, April 5th. Thank you for allowing me to update you for the weather, uh, in, uh, the pending weather ahead today. Forecast information could continue to change later today. So be sure to check back on the website. That's weather.gov forward slash IWX for the latest forecast information.